Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. New Vegas. Thank you very, very much for listening. And now the news. Merchants are saying that there's been little contact between traders from Nipton in recent days, causing concerns that the isolated town may be in trouble. In other news, the Black Mountain radio signal is back after a long absence. Listeners say the new programming is, quote, less for outcasts, more for weirdos. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas saying, I'm just no good without you. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here. Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we activated House's little Securitron factory underneath the Legion Fort. We went through the town of Searchlight and got a couple of goodies. We got ourselves a unique fire axe. Knock knock. We also got... If I can find it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. The Holy Frag Grenades of Antioch. And as you can see, they do a lot of damage. But there's only three in the game, so you gotta make each throw count. Now, this part, we're going to be heading back to Cottonwood Cove so we can actually help out the NZR garrison that is stationed here. But before we do that, I want to catch up to this patrol because it relates to another quest that I really, really hate doing here. And if you followed me last time, then you will know it's the one where I have to hunt down the ghouls. But first things first, I gotta talk to the sergeant because... You're back. Well... What can I do for you? I... What? Are there any other survivors? Yeah. None that aren't feral ghouls. Those poor bastards. Can't imagine. Yeah, I had I forgot to ask him about this like because, well, I'm an idiot. But I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? What well, kind of favor? I want you to put down the troopers that changed, turned into ghouls. And why do you want me to kill them? Or why do you want to kill them in, at all? Those boys aren't themselves anymore. They're in pain. And you don't let good men suffer like that. Those troopers deserve a clean death. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. Could you bring me their dog tags? Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. There's an old rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Oh, and take these radiation supplies. I'm You'll a bigger them. idiot than I was because those two rataways could have saved me a hell of a lot of pain back when I was doing the quest to loot the town. Because if you remember, I suffered a little bit of radi radiation poisoning. I almost said radiation poisoning. Now, before we head off to Cottonwood Cove to do so, as you can see, well, not really right now, but I gotta go over to it. I got five irradiated dog tags. There are ten total to do this. He said that he needs you to bring at least ten, but don't be fooled. There's just ten total. The just the arbitrary amount, I guess. It was just a form of dialogue. Nevertheless, this quest is hell. Not only because, well, there's the radiation you gotta deal with, but also the ghoul troopers themselves, because sometimes they don't like the spawn, and sometimes the ghoul troopers that you do find are mostly glowing ones or just outright feral ghoul troopers and you can't, and they don't have the dog tags on them. But before we do that, we're gonna make a little house call right here, because one of the hidden tags is actually inside this house. And I, Dr. TBG PhD, physician extraordinaire, that is a lie. I am not actually a physician. I don't even look like one. Look at me. I look like a reject from Plan 9 from Outer Space. But anyways, we gotta head in here because there's actually one of the troopers in here. If I can... Do I have plasma rifle? That would work. Yeah, where's that music coming from? I gotta kill it. Phew, that was a close one. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Ah, look at him. He's so precious. Oh my Morning. God, he's hideous. Who the hell are you? Better yet, what the hell are you doing in this cursed place? You know what? Forget it. It doesn't matter. Welcome to Camp Searchlight, the shittiest place on Earth. Greetings, Earth life form. I come from the planet Z-25. I am here for your dog tags. You aren't feral, are you? No, I'm not. Not yet, anyway. I'm Private Kyle Edwards, former NCR trooper. Former? What happened? Couldn't you tell? That damn radiation bomb got me. I can't serve the NCR like this. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. Nah. 
Uh, maybe they'll let you back in. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know how the NCR feels about ghouls. Well, then why are you still here? I'm here because I have nowhere else to go. There has to be some place you can go. Believe me, I'd love to leave. But I can't because I don't know what effect the radiation will have on me. But ghouls are immune to radiation. Yeah, but I don't want to go feral. And that's probably what more radiation would do to me. And there's still radiation in the house, though. Look, just leave me alone. I'm not going outside. Please? Yeah. Um... I see you're wearing your NCR dog tag. Yeah, I am. What of it? Can I have it? Sorry. I'm not about to give it up. It's the only thing I have left that reminds me of who I was. Your humanity is a part of you. Not kept in some dog tag. You're probably right. Here, take it. Alright, well, that was easy. I can't let you have it. It's a part of me. It reminds me of who I was. Please, you're more human than you think you are. Alright, fine. Alright, I'm gonna meet you back at the sergeant because this is actually a little bit of a continuation. I don't like them all standing up here like this. Like the little badass pose. For a second I thought a Legion hit squad was coming in and they were fighting them. Uh, Aster. You're back. What can I do for you? I... Uh, can I ask you about Private Edwards? Who's Private Edwards? Uh, he's a ghoul in the, in the camp searchlight. If he's a ghoul, he should be put down. I can't let a rabid dog suffer. Uh, but he isn't feral. Doesn't mean he isn't suffering. Or that he won't go feral eventually. Mm, isn't there some place he can go? Well, there's a ranger station north of here that has a few ghouls running it. Maybe they'll take him in. Alright, well, I'll go ask him about it. Good luck with that. Hello. I know it feels kind of bad uh, taking Edward away from his squad, but to be honest, his sergeant's acting like kind of a dig. It's like, hey, I found one of your men. He's still alive. Okay, who is he? Oh, he's one of your privates. Private? What private? And he's like, hey, you need to kill him anyways. But you know what? If there's a ranger station that's filled with ghouls, then hell yeah, I'll send him to it. Ed boy! Hey, I got some semi-good hey. news for you. Yeah. Astro says there's a ranger station up north. There's a ranger station run by ghouls? Finally. I feel like I have a place to go. Thanks for your help. Happy trails! Eh, it feels good doing good. Ooh, I'm meeting people. I'm just gonna yoink. I don't care if it's a loss of camera. It's not like Edward needs it. Hi, Edward. You didn't see that, did you? It doesn't look like you did. Now, we may actually know what... No, we will be visiting that ranger station later, so if Edward actually does survive his little journey up there, then I hope to see him up there. But for now, we are going to finally head back to Cottonwood Cove, because, well... You know, I gotta do a little bit of espionage. Best of luck, Edward. Hope you don't get shot. And hopefully I don't die of radiation poisoning like I always seem to do. Now we got his dog tag and that puts our dog tag list up to six. There are four more dog tags here and I doubt I'm ever going to complete this quest because, well... Again, it's all, not as bad as Wheel of Fortune... But it's still a pain in the ass and does still have a few bugs in it, such as ghoul troopers not having their dog tags or ghoul troopers just outright refusing to show up. I'll take his dirty water, though. And... Oh, that guy has dog tag. That's good. And that guy also has dog tag. Wow. Eddie, Boone, why can't you ever warn me when you kill these ghoul troopers and not tell me they're feral ghouls, even though your AI does not permit you to do so? But whatever, we should be getting pretty close to Cottonwood Cove. Hopefully Boone can be on his best behavior, but knowing him and his murderous tendencies, it won't end well. It probably won't. We're going to be found out almost instantly. Uh. Um. 
Hmm. Boone, you doing alright, buddy? Well, so far. You'll know when you cross the threshold if you have Boone with you because he'll stop you and tell you he's going to be gunning down any legionnaires you see. And, you know, for an espionage mission, that doesn't seem like the wisest thing to do. Okay, this spotter thing is really starting to get on my nerves because I'm terrified of what I'm being told is over there. I hope it's just a mole rat because I do know this is mole rat country. Uh-oh. Uh, Boone? Sounds like it's going to be an all-out war with the Legion soon. Maybe I should have re-enlisted after okay, all. Okay, uh... Alright. So far we're in a safe zone. I'm just worried I Boone's not going to start sniping it. Legionnaires. And I get vilified and immediately going to make this quest harder than it needs to be. I think I went the wrong road. Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. Hey, Boone. What is it? I need you to wait right here. Hey, Eddie. You wait here also, because, to be honest, you kind of get to go get a little trigger happy as well. Now, I gotta go sneak in, but I need the disguise. What to disguise myself as? I already played the alien ploy once in my life. I can't do it again. They'll find it out. Hmm. There. I hope I don't look stupid. Well, so far, no one's shooting at me, so the disguise must be working. Now, aside from espionage, there's another thing we need to do while we're here in Cottonwood Cove. And that would be... Uh, if you remember last trip here, there was a slave pen with a couple of slaves, but we couldn't really do anything because we had to go see Caesar, and none of the legionnaires here would talk to us. Hi, guys. Hope everything's going all right. I'm just here to do a little bit of trading. Well, it looks like Brian was here. Oh, you're a really, really good slave. You managed to escape your pin altogether. True yeah, to true to Kaiser. True to our way. Have you come to sell or trade for captures? Uh, by captures, you mean slaves? No, no, no. They haven't yet earned the right to be called slaves. Those three in the pen are captures. Nothing more. I'm a slave master, so I know what I'm talking about. Back at the fort, I'd have those three half-broken and well on their way. But this is just a holding area, so all I do is assess their fitness and decide whether to send them on. It doesn't bother you enslaving them? Why would it bother me to enslave these wretches? They have no purpose, no creed, no honor. They live in pitiful squalor, undisciplined, intemperate. To enslave them is to save them, to give them purpose and virtue. Honestas industria prudentia. Even the virtues of slaves are beyond the desolute on this side of the river. Uh, how much would it be to... How much would it cost to buy these three? Captures. It's a weak bunch, to be honest. I'd rather have extra currency to buy supplies or better captures off traders. There's a boy, too old to be trained as a legionary. Normally they would have to die, but he's too frail to make trouble. The old woman's dried up, but she could keep house or do gardening if she can learn to keep her mouth shut. The girl's the only one of real value. Young enough to breed, not hideous to look at. What's your offer for the lot? Hmm. Any fool can see that girl has all the symptoms of pustular hypo... Whatever the hell it is, I'm not a doctor. Pustula? What? Is that contagious? That doesn't sound good at all. I'll give you 150 cats for the lot. Seems I'm fortunate to get that much for them, given the circumstances. Here, this is the key to their collars. You'll want to take those off before you go far, trust me. And how did the Legion set up a camp this side of the river? I thought the NCR had this entire area covered. It was easy. The Colorado was narrow here, and when the profligates abandoned searchlight, there was no one to guard the crossing. 
It's just a small outpost, but we keep busy. Raiding parties go out, new captures come in. Hmm, and how did you join the Legion? I have Blackfoot in me, the first tribe that Caesar ever led in battle, the tribe that formed the Legion. If not for him, we'd still be living in tents or shacks, scavenging for food like animals, if we were alive at all. And who's Cursor Lucullus? The best Cursor in the Legion. You'll reach Fortification Hill without incident, that's for sure. Wait until you see the encampment, how massive it is, and a personal audience with mighty Kaisar. Glorious. Pick a Caesar, Kaisar, whatever, and stick Wha with it. When will we You'll be, be free, free right now. I've paid for the three of you. You are free to go. Thank you. I don't think we'll ever be able to repay you, but we'll do our best one day, once i found a place to settle. Alright, and get the hell out of here. Thank you. We never would have escaped without your help. And they're off, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, wow, she's already made a run for it, mostly because for some reason she spawned outside the cage. Well, so far so good. I look silly enough they don't expect me to be a spy. And I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but whatever. Inside the HQ. I'm sure I have authorization to be in here. First things first, is there anyone in here? No, there isn't. Cool machetes. Um, take those, it's not like the Legion has any use of them. Let's see, what do we have here? Bottle caps? Can I? Thank you. I don't care if it counts as stealing. It's stealing from the Legion. That's like saying I'm stealing from Hitler. Hmm, what else? What else? Legion radio. And a slave scarf for some reason was inside their HQ. Plant the bug! You place the NCR bug inside the crack of the radio. Anything else? Combat knife? Oh, that's good to sell. Police batons? Oh, I can sell those as well. If I can actually pick them up! Holy shit! Police baton. Use the force to just throw that one off the shelf. 308 rounds, that's good. I can finally start using that hunting rifle a bit easier. Bubble gum. Don't you just hate it when you get your gum on your bullets? And bottle cap. Bottle cap. Anything new tool cabinet? Just some glue, which I have no need. Gun cabinet, on the other hand, has 12 gauge, two caravan shotguns, and 20 gauge. Holy shit, a 44 Magnum. Nice. I hit the jackpot. And not one guard in their HQ to make sure something like this doesn't happen. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Is there anything else we need to do? I only think well, we got the raid plans, we got the bug. Apparently so. We have to go up here. So I I guess while I'm doing some espionage, oh hello. Kaisar may have deemed you worthy to bear his mark, but your reputation precedes you. Your presence will be tolerated, but you are not welcome here. Lucullus awaits you on the docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The calls can wait on my ass. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything special and secret in here. Lad's Life, Legion Patrol notes, and... Recompass of the Fallen. Unique NCR dog tag fists. There? There? I honestly don't know what to call them. They're... Well, they're a thing. You can sneak them into the... Casinos, I guess. But they're just, like... Wolverine life... Knife-like things that are made out of NCR dog tags. I guess from... That, uh, Centurion is killed. Uh, ooh, a Grognak. Uh, a teddy bear. Aw, how sweet. I'm just going to take that for good measure. 
So as I was saying, while I'm looting the whole place, um, so far, uh, how's everyone's summer been going? I'm sure you're all dying from the heat because we have now crossed the threshold of passable heat because it was like, okay, this is a little tolerable to, oh god, please, I don't ever want to go outside, my skin will catch a flame. Mostly because, well, yeah, August is usually considered the dry season of summer and the worst of all the months, and I gotta wonder, what do you think uh, the August heat is in Nevada? Because we already know that it's hot as hell in Nevada, just in general. But add the August heat to it? If any of my fans are actually from Nevada, please tell me, is it like this? Like, normal-ish, or is it, like, almost near impossible to go outside during the day, and even hard to go outside during the night? But, hey, we finally found... Eddie. No, you don't have to carry anything, yet. I want you to follow. Boon. What is it? Uh, follow, 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 what the hell is the follow thing? Screw it. Follow. Mostly because my finger slipped and I went to the talk command, not the follow command. And I'm worried what's over that ridge over there, because... Over in that area, I will be visiting much later in the series, because... Well, I'll be visiting that place when I go on a little hunting trip, because... While there is actually a really good weapon over there, it's one of the very few... Boon, what are you shooting at? Boon. Boon. I'm terrified to know what you're shooting at. And that's a rock. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Fire geckos. A very, very... Wanting to die, not gonna fight back and just accept my mortality, fire gecko, but... Nonetheless, fire geckos are really, really, really annoying to fight because, as the name implies, they breathe fire. Yeah. They're the worst of all the geckos in the entire game, and there is a unique legendary version of it, and it is inside a cave that is over there. We will be fighting that thing, but not till I find some decent equipment because I don't trust myself to hunt the legendary creatures yet. Mostly because, well, persists of a couple of... Uh, the unique Mojave characters, such as a Night Stalker, a Deathclaw, uh, a... Uh, what was else? A Fire Gecko, as I was saying before, and a Cazador. Uh, if you remember from Silver Peak Mine, and how I said I would never go in there. And I will be fighting them, I will be hunting them all down, but that's not going to be till later, because, I, trust me, it's a challenge, even when you do have good equipment, I'm pretty sure there's a Legion rig happening right now. But, as I was saying, uh, there's still a challenge, even if you do have good equipment. Like, if you're rec rocking power armor, like, heavy tier weaponry, and, like, throwing mini nukes at them, they'll still put up a decent am fight. Yep, I, yep, you guys are fighting a Legion. I don't want to run the risk of losing you guys. We will all go to- oh no. Oh, no. No! Sergeant! No! He was so young! You bastards! Where'd they go? Uh... You cowards! Kill the sergeant, and then run away like the malicious cowards you are! I'll kill you! I think I actually hit one. Well, uh, this is a fine how-do-you-do. You know what? I ain't losing two quests. Asher, you're a great guy. And I salute you. 21, 21 plasma shot salute. For a second, Uh-oh. Well, I'm glad those troopers have no solemn and hate towards me for desecrating their sergeant's body. Alright, 
Wibbly wobbly time powers, go! Sergeant, you you're alive! It's as if I have some demigod-like powers over this universe! Uh, and to you totally didn't die. Um, well, I guess for now I got some dog tags for you. Thank you. Every tag you bring me is one more soldier at peace. And I have an update on Cottonwood Cove. Let's hear it. Here's the intel. I planted a bug in Cottonwood Cove's radio and found some intel. Well, this is more than I could have hoped for. Almost seems too good to be true, but the details are all here. Looks like they're planning to strike some of the southern caravans. I'll notify the rangers and patrols in that area immediately. Here's some caps for your trouble. You've done us a great service. Is there anything else you need done? Well, unless you want to go in there and clean out that camp for me. I guess this should be more than enough for now. Consider it done! What? Really? You're mad, but I like it. According to the notes you gave me, all the southern raiding parties come from that camp. Caesar regularly sends fresh squads to relieve patrols. Killing their centurion and leadership would be a start. But finding a way to permanently shut down that dock is what we really need. Say no more, I'll see what I can do. Report back when the camp is clear. I'll try and shuffle some men in that direction once the Legion's gone. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about shuffling any men, because I'm gonna permanently take out that dock. And hey, look who finally decided to show up for the party! I swear to god, if you kill him again, I'm gonna murder Caesar with my bare hands. Boone, for once, be a dead eye and actually hit these guys. Uh, if they're all shooting at me, that means they're not shooting at Ash. Asher, and that means that I could not fail this quest again because that was stupid amount of bullshit, and I was hit unaware and hit without reason. That it's a good thing they actually attacked me before. Well, not before, after I planted the bug. I guess they found out and they're like sending retribution. Why the hell do you have a super sledge this early in the game? Jeez, man. What? Okay, I think that was just, uh, yeah, rendering the Kaiser thing. That's a quest that actually unlocks if you, uh, piss off Caesar's Legion enough, which means I've done a good job! I'm gonna kill you before you- wow, I blew his head and leg off with a headshot, that was awesome! And a 10mm submachine, I'll be sure to sell that, healing power, Legion stuff, purified water, a ripper? A ripper, really? Damn, game, you're giving me the good stuff! And this are- oh god. Trooper, trooper, I can't see where he is! Boone! Boone! Eddie! Come on, for- Vilified by the Legion. Oh, you guys- the troopers are actually helpful. Nice. I like it when AI is actually able to take down enemy troops. Eddie, you can hold all this stuff. I'll be sure to sell this when I get back to Vegas. How's my gun runner laser pistol? Yeah, it's perfectly fine. I'll just put all these laser pistols in here for sale. But shit, guys, you pulled off a hell of a lot better job than you did last time. Now, as we head back to Cottonwood Cove, I will admit that there's, well, not really an admit, but more like, say, there are two ways we can accomplish this quest. Ugh, sorry about that. Uh, one way is to, well, just outright go in and gun everyone who's in there down. The other way, however, and my personally the more fun way, is if you remember when we first arrived there, there was that little overlook area. And when I failed to know my directions and almost walked into the overlook area. Over in that little overlook, there is a truck. Inside that truck is a trailer. Well, inside that... No shit, there's a trailer... In Words! TVG, can you speak them? Inside that truck, or well, trailer to be exact, is a pile of radioactive barrels. And you can already see where this is going. This is how we're going to permanently take out the camp. However, if you didn't release those slaves for who are inside the little cage over there, you will kill them. As, well, usual. Everyone will instantly die the second you open that trailer truck. And in doing so, it will uh, pretty much screw you out of a quest in another area of the Mojave. 
So it's always best to go in, free the slaves, and before you come over here to deal with the whole entire camp. Plus, in doing this, it, it actually unlocks more points for Boone's history if you use the trailer, so it's a bit of ironic justice, one could say. But there's our little trailer trap. As you can see, everyone's already pissed off at me, mostly because I'm now vilified. So we're just gonna sneak over here, go over to the tailgate. Open the store, we'll release highly radioactive barrels in the Cottonwood Cove, potentially killing everyone in the camp. Open the gates, and I guess you didn't need a lockpick to do anything. Let loose the radiation! Boone? Where are you? Boone, we need to talk. Let's get out of this first. Alright, fine. And as you can see, they're already starting to drop like flies. Or that could just be Boone and Eddie dropping them. Oh, it's their dog. I was like, why is there a random coyote? Because the character, like, the full character model didn't shut off. And... Is that a... Dude has a chainsaw! Seriously, where did they get this high-powered weapons? I'm not that le high level. Usually you don't see that till you're like level 20 or 25. I forgot that the Legion actually used chainsaws. I thought there was only one chainsaw in the game before Gunrunners came out. And my radiation... Oh god, I'm... With critical radiation. Probably shouldn't be standing right next to that radioactive truck container, so I'm gonna pop a couple rataways and a radix. Look at them all running scared! Alright. Well, the radiation will finish them off for us, so let's get going, Boone. Come on, Boone. Come on. Come on, you've had fun, now time to leave your friends to go die a slow and painful death. I'll sit tight, I've got you. We're near a Legion slave camp now. I've been here before. Let's get one thing straight. I see any crimson, I'm taking the shot. You don't like that, you're on your own. As long as you don't mind me joining in the, in the fun. I don't think I'd hold it against you. The boon. What is it? Um, I think it's time you tell me what happened about your wife. I don't see what this helps. She's dead. The better we understand each other, the more effective we'll be. <sighs> All right. She. I tracked her down. Southeast near the river. They were selling her. Saw it through my scope. Whole place swarming with legion, hundreds of them, bidding for things no man has a right to. I just had my rifle with me. Just me against all of them. So I took the shot. Mm. You know, better for her to die than live a legion slave. Yeah. What they do to women. That's worse than death. There was no choice in what I did. It was more like being forced to watch something you can't stop. All this was only ever going to play out one way. It still is. I don't have any say. All I can do is wait for it to be done with me. Mm. You make it sound like your wife's death was inevitable. It was going to be something. If I'd never met Carla, it would have been something else. I should have never gotten close to her. I've got bad things coming to me. You better keep your distance, too. Fat chance. Why do you think you got bad things coming? <sighs> because fair is fair. I don't understand. Better that you don't. All right, then. But you must have been at Bitter Springs. What happened? There was a... miscommunication. Sounds more like it was a massacre. Actually, you know what? That must have been one hell of a miscommunication. Yeah, well, 
That's how they wrote it up in the report. We did what we were there to do. A lot of people got killed. That's war. Maybe looking back, you do things differently. But that's not how it works. In the field, you hesitate. You or someone you care about will die. They teach that from day one. Yeah. Hesitating someone that you need to rely on will die. And not just bullshit circumstances, either. Sounds like you've had some regrets. You don't come out of a tour of duty without regrets. It's best just not to think about it. Do you think about Bitter Springs a lot, though? Yeah. Always. Even when I sleep. Maybe it would help if we go back there. I don't think so. It won't change anything. And that's a memory I don't want refreshed. Uh. Alright. Wait, is it because of Bitter Springs you think you got some bad ti things coming? Life has a way of punishing you for the mistakes you make. Big enough mistake, punishment can take a while. Mine's not over. Maybe you can make up for your mistakes. I know I've had it in the past. A murderer who does good deeds is still a murderer. And he'll still get his judgment. I left the NCR when my tour was up. Had enough of war. And decided I was going to start over. None of it made a difference in the end. And how do you know your punishment isn't over? Because I'm still alive. Alright. Boon. That's deep, boy. Wish there was more than that. I wasn't done yet. Boon, come on, let's get out of here. We gotta go report back to the sergeant. Man. Your backstory cuts deep, man. Your life sucked. Hey, I thought some more about what you said. I think maybe you're right. Maybe I should go to Bitter Springs. I don't know what I'm hoping to find there. What? What? What changed your mind? Nothing. Dream. Just tired of thinking about it. All right, well, make it a point to stop there. I hope this isn't a mistake. Boone, you may have had a tragic past, but hopefully, with my help, you'll have a brighter future. I know I can be an asshole sometimes, but you know what? When it comes to the people I've grown close to and people I've fought side by side with throughout this god awful wasteland, I look out for my friends. You're back. What can I do for you? I have an update on Cotton with Cove. Let's hear it. I killed everyone at the camp! What? How did you pull it off? A little thing I like to call karmic justice. I released some barrels of radioactive waste. That's exactly what we needed to put a cork in that camp. The Legion won't be moving through there anytime soon. Fitting that the camp was taken care of in a way similar to Searchlight. Thank you for taking care of that place for us. Hey, no problem. And hey, that put us over the edge. What better way to end it off? And hey, the NCR finally likes me. It's nice to finally get some recognition in this army. So what should we put some things in? Hmm. All right, so I decided to put five in the barter, five in the guns, four in the lockpick, and what was it? I think it was like three into energy weapons. Just, was it three? No, yeah, it was three. There we go. Yeah, it was actually two, not three. I'm an idiot. But yeah, I just like to even out everything. I decided to put some energy weapons because I'm actually starting to get a little bit more use on my plasma rifle, so... And your weapons, I'm sorry, they come around a bit, but I'm still more of a guns person in this game, so I wanted to stop, like, swaying all over the place and hopefully get some use out of hunting rifles and all such other things. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with, mostly because, well, medicine's decently high. Repairs, plenty of that, plenty of science, even though I probably could have maxed it out by now, but eh, whatever. Speech is at 80, I'll probably level that up next, next time, and you already know my thoughts about survival and unarmed speed. I'm not really an unarmed person, but yeah, that's what I'm going with, so that's what we're go gonna have. Now, before we end things off, we're gonna head back to the Strip. If you remember, I said I was gonna go back to the Ambassador and tell him the news, so I will see you when I get back to the Ambassador's place.
Oh, hello. Looks like we've got a show on our way to the ambassador's place. What do we got here? Looks like some NCR troopers decided to let loose on the strip. Well, it looks like my wish came true, troop. Securetron. Come on, let them have some fun. Have you ever been on a tour of duty? Here. All right, ladies, show's over. All right, girls, show's over. Uh -oh. Wanna dance? <laughs> it's the more. law, girls. Spoil sport. Are you going to spank us? All right, I'll see you. I'll see you at the ambassador's place. That's. I always forgot that that was a fun little like distraction that pops up. I think it's like every third time you come to this part of the strip, or every second time. Ambassador, do I have a story to tell you and... Hello? Hello? Pizza delivery? What the hell is he? Ambassador, do I have a story to tell you? And yes, before you do ask, it does involve the silly outfit I'm wearing. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? I want to talk to you about the boomers. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? The boomers have agreed to help me. Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Will do, because we're not going to be doing that, because, well, it involves us going back to Freeside, and you already know my thoughts about Freeside. But, in any case, I believe that's probably the best note to end out on. We got to start Boone's personal quest, we leveled up, we finished everything, well, mostly everything, down in Cottonwood. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to be heading off back to Bitter Springs. Well, not back to Bitter Springs, we're actually going to be heading to Bitter Springs in the first place to help Boone cope with his little PTSD problem. And then we may do a little help there as well, and come back to... Actually, you know what? Before we do Bitter Springs, we'll stop at Michelangelo's place and help with Eddie's personal quest as well. So, that's what we're going to do. Until then, I will see you guys next time. couple things to cover in today's A&D, so without further ado, let's get started. First thing I want to cover is dealing with Private Edwards. Now there is a smorgasbord of ways you can complete his part of the quest, and so I just wanted to run through a few of the other options you could be given. All of which culminates around asking him a simple question of what his fears are. Doing this will cause three giant rad scorpions to spawn outside the house, so go on out, kill them, or don't. You don't have to, you can actually just tell him to go outside and he'll get mauled to death by them. But once that's done, you're presented with two other options. First of which is, do you go back in, lie to Edwards and tell him, Hey, your buddies are waiting for you back at camp with a cake of beer and a high five, so head on back there. Doing so will cause him to run straight back to the camp and immediately be gunned down by his own squad. And you can just loot the dog tag right off his corpse. Other way is to, well, head off to Asher back at the camp and tell him about Edward's situation. Now, you can either pass an, an intelligence check or a speech check. Doing either will allow Edward to be allowed back into the camp with his squad. All right, I'll give him a shot. Second thing I want to cover, although it's not an alternate take for I2 and I, it is a little something extra I forgot to mention back in the main LP. After you kill everyone in the camp, after you kill everyone in the camp, head on down and check any of the named legionnaires that are down there. On them, you will find a very unique version of Machete, the Machete Gladius. Now, although it's got a new texture model, it is the strongest of all the machetes in the game. It's not considered a unique Mojave weapon. I don't get why. But, hey, if you want a good cutting weapon, this is actually a really good, really early way to get one. So, there you go.
And that's all there is to it. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.